Hey everyone, I'm going to go over how to level your bed on your MarkForge desktop Onyx 1 3D printer. Knowing how to level your bed is really the key to getting good quality prints every single time you use the printer. That in combination with having extremely dry filament and having a level bed are the two things you can do to guarantee perfect prints every single time. If for whatever reason you have filament hanging out of your nozzle like this, make sure that you clip it off completely before doing the shim bed level. Really make sure you get all of it off. It does make a difference if you have a small piece of that hanging out when trying to level your bed. So the first thing we're going to do is check the level with the shim here and to start that process you're going to go through the menu here on the printer and press bed level and shim bed level and what that's going to do is raise the bed up this says to loosen each thumb screw until the print bed is at its lowest position. I never do this. I'm not sure why you would because you're probably pretty close and just need to fine tune the current level. Maybe if you're leveling for the first time you would do this, but it is possible to loosen the thumb screws all the way enough that they'll fall out. So I wouldn't actually do this step. Okay, so we're at our very first position here on the leveling process. The menu says to slide the plastic shim, which is your brass shim piece here. It's a .004 inch thick piece of brass. It says plastic shim on it. And it says to slide that between the bed and the nozzle. So I'm going to do that and see how much resistance I have here as I slide it between the bed and the nozzle. I have a fair bit of resistance. I feel it on the shim. And you definitely want to feel it. If it's too loose and you don't feel anything when you slide this between the nozzle and the bed, uh, you need to tighten this up. So just for demonstration purposes, uh, screwing the thumb screw to the right moves the bed down and unscrewing it to the left moves the bed up. And I'm going to just keep unscrewing this until I feel some resistance, but not so that it's so tight that I can barely move the shim. It's definitely a feel thing, and you want all three of them to be the same. Again, on the second one, I'm trying to match the first one, the resistance that I felt. I'm going to make this one a little bit tighter. And on some of these, you'll find just a very small amount of movement on the thumb screw will make a huge difference. So sometimes it's just barely turning it to get it to where you need to be. Okay, and then I'm going to do the back position here. This is the hardest one to do, by far. Uh, it's really hard to get the shim back here. It's my least favorite thing to do on these printers, probably. But the trick is to kind of get in there. And this is the most sensitive one I've found, too, from turning the thumb, thumb screw just barely will make a huge difference on the height. That feels pretty good. And again, you want it to feel the same as the other two. It actually feels a little loose, so I'm going to tighten it up a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so that felt pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and run the disk test print to see how that comes out. All right, so now that we've used the shim to check all the heights and try to level the bed the best we can we need to run the test print and what that's going to do is it's going to heat our nozzle up and print out three discs on the MarkForge bed and we will look at those three discs and see how well we leveled the bed So 
so now we're going to look at the three discs that just printed after the leveling process. When you first look at them, they should, one, be flat like this. You may have a little bit of material bump right there, but that's not unusual. Um, when you run your finger across it, it should feel fairly smooth. You may feel some of the layer lines. It's just one layer thick. But really, um, some of the things you may see if it's not properly leveled, uh, not enough material coming out. Um, when you run your finger over it, it's extremely rough. I've seen that before. Uh, or if it's too far away, you may not have the filament really melting and attaching to the plate very well. Um, if your disc isn't really adhering to the plate, that's not a good sign either. And you want this on all three of them. So if I move over here, I can get it in view here, here we go, to the bottom left corner. Looks very similar. I'm not seeing any gaps or anything between the edge of the circle either. That's uh, another tail sign of either being too far away or too close. And the back one. Let's see if I can get that in frame here. Looks pretty good. So what should you do if one of your circles looks bad? Often for me it's the back one that needs more adjustment. In that case I would run the print utility again after taking these discs off and I would put my shim under it and adjust that thumb screw again. After I've adjusted the thumb screw I would run the test print again for the bed level and reevaluate. It's basically a rinse repeat process. It's really important to spend time getting all three of these looking as good as possible the more time you put in here and the more effort you put into your leveling process, the better your prints are going to look. So don't rush this part. I know it can be frustrating. I've spent up to a half an hour, 45 minutes, really trying to dial this in sometimes. Um, but once you get it, it's going to be good for a while, hopefully. So that's how I go through the process of leveling my Mark Forge bed. And hopefully that's helpful for some of you that may not know the process. Thanks for watching.